Like when we look at graphs to make numbers on a table easier to understand, we can also look at the data in different ways so that it makes more sense. Here is a list of data. It's not so easy to see what this data is trying to say until we look at it in certain ways and the ways of describing data. Please get a 8.5 by 11 piece of paper and draw four quadrants. You can fold it into fourths and then draw your quadrants. In the first quadrant, I would like you to write the word range. Range simply means that we're going to find the difference between the highest and lowest number in the data. Hit pause right now and find the highest and the lowest number and write them both down. You should have found 82 and 29. The difference between those two numbers is what? How will we find the difference? Did you say subtract? Because subtraction is how we find the difference between two numbers. Please hit pause and find the difference between 82 and 29. In this case, I'm going to subtract by borrowing and I'm going to get 53. So the range in this data is 53. If we pretend that these numbers are listing the lengths of sticks that we have in inches, that would mean that the longest stick we have is 82 inches and the shortest stick we have is 29 inches, and so the difference between the longest and the shortest stick would be 53 inches. Please write mode in the next quadrant. The mode is the number of the data that occurs the most often, not the highest number. Please pause and write down the mode, the number that appears most often in this list of data. Hit pause. I'm going to bet that you wrote 41 because 41 appears two times in the list of data. And in, and in this case, 41 appears the most often, so it is the mode. Now write median in the next box, but the median is a little bit trickier. It's tricky because we need to rewrite the list. Please right now copy the list down after you hit pause and put them in order, the numbers in order, from least to greatest. Please make sure and do all 10 numbers even though some of them repeat. Hit pause now and copy them down from least to greatest. Does your list look like this? Go ahead and double check and make sure that it does. Now to find the median of any list of data, after you put it in order from least to greatest, we need to start crossing off the two ends. What do I mean by that? I'm going to cross off the low end and the high end. Then I'm going to cross off the low end and the high end. And I'm going to continue this pattern until I get to the middle two or middle one piece of data. So in this case, I do the low end and the high end. and Well, I can't cross off anymore because these two are in the middle. What that means is the median falls between 41 and 42. Please write down what you think the number is that falls between 41 and 42 after you hit pause. What number did you write down? 41 and 5 tenths, or 41 and a half, would be the correct answer for this data. What if the number had fallen between 41 and 41? What would the median be then? What number comes between 41 and 41? Ah, trick question. The answer is 41. Go ahead and write the word mean in the last and final quadrant. I want to talk about this picture right here first. The mean tells us what all the data items would be if they were leveled out. So for example, I have all these toys. I have a football, a doll, a jump rope, a car, a game, and a top. Now, these blocks represent how much each of those things cost. So a football is $8, a doll is $12, a jump rope is 3 a car is 5 a game is 7 and a top is 1 
These bars down here show us that they've leveled off the price of each of these items by stacking them. And so the amount that each item would cost if all the items cost the same amount, but the prices remained the same. Let's take a look at this. I'd like you to write down these six prices, $8, $12, $3, $5, $7, and $1. Now I'm gonna add up all of these prices together. Please do that right now yourself. When I add them up, I get a total of 36. So all together, these toys cost $36. Now the mean needs me to go ahead and now that I've added them, divide by the total number of toys. So I have $36 divided by six toys because there are six different toys. 36 divided by six is six. And so in this case, the mean equals six. And I can prove it by looking at these six equal length towers. Let's find out what the mean is of our original list of data. And since the numbers are a lot larger than the toys, go ahead and feel free to figure this out on a calculator. What you'll need to do is add all of them and then divide by the total number in the data. What did you get? Go ahead and solve for the mean and show your work, even though you're using the calculator, show your work on the paper. Go ahead and show your work in the fourth quadrant and be prepared to tell me how you got that answer tomorrow. Finally, go ahead and copy on the back of your piece of paper this poem and bring it in with you tomorrow. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.